So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you that champs. Are you excited? I'm excited. We're all excited. Microsoft have just announced they're going to have a new Surface event. Dime dove quandro. I will tell you when and where. New York, New York, October the 2nd. That's a long way out. Why are they announcing an October the 2nd event in August? Apple haven't even announced their September event. That's a bit strange. What are we expecting? October actually makes perfect sense when you think about it. I think Apple are going to have an event in September for the iPhone. I don't think they're going to do iPad or the new 16-inch MacBook Pro. I think they're going to save that for a separate event in October because October is when you do the Christmas sort of stuff. The holiday season products, they do it in October and I think Apple will have an event in October as well. Hopefully it doesn't clash there with this one. That'll be interesting if that happens. What are you expecting at this Microsoft Surface hardware event? Surface Studio? Hope they upgrade that. If they have six or eight cores in that, I'm in because that thing is epic. The only thing that holds it back is that quad core. Come on Microsoft, fix that. Will they have something new like, you know, the project Andromeda or something where they're going to have maybe a two screen laptop or something like that oh, I doubt it probably just a refresh to the Surface Pro Surface Laptop and Surface Book now I have done videos on the latest Ice Lake CPUs and the latest Comic Lake CPU so check out those videos if you don't know what I'm talking about here but currently as it stands all those products I mentioned Surface Pro Surface Laptop Surface Book they all use the U parts now the current U parts and I'm going to talk about the Surface Book in a minute because I was so close to buying the Surface Book as my main driver. I'll tell you why I ultimately didn't go there and why this may change now. And the new Surface Book, if they do it right, will be friggin' epic if they use the CPUs that I'm going to talk about in a sec. But currently they all use U parts. I hope they don't use the U parts in the Surface Laptop and the Surface Pro 6. I don't want Comic Lakes in there. I want Ice Lake in those because the Ice Lake has the graphics. Don't know the difference between the Ice Lake and the Comet Lake CPU. Go check out my videos. But the big difference is Comet Lake up to six cores, high CPU frequency. Ice Lake quad cores, the CPU frequencies aren't as high, but Ice Lake has better graphics, also has built-in Thunderbolt 3, Wi-Fi 6 built into the CPU, not the actual chipset or bridge there, like the Comic Lakes do. I know, I'm going over people's heads here, sorry. There's two things I want to see with the Surface Pro 6 and the Surface Laptop. One, Ice Lake CPU, so we do get killer graphics, we'll be able to game on them. Having an Ultra Book with awesome battery life, Wi-Fi 6, Thunderbolt 3, they got to have that, that's one of the things. It's going to be a deal breaker if it doesn't have Thunderbolt 3. It's not so much for eGPUs, but eGPUs help. But also for docks, Thunderbolt 3, come on. you got to put it in there. But the second thing is Ice Lake CPUs. I really want Ice Lake CPUs because we should be able to have Thunderbolt on either side. Maybe two, hopefully. Also the graphics. All right, so if you've got Thunderbolt 3, you can connect an eGPU. But if you've got an Ice Lake CPU, you're going to have good graphics to start with. You're going to be able to video edit. You're going to be able to game. You're going to be able to do all those sort of things. With the Surface Book, you can already do that because you have graphics cards in those. Because you can get a 1050 in a 13-inch Surface and you can get a 1060 in a 15-inch. Now, why didn't the Surface Book become my daily driver? Now, I love the Surface Book and I was this close to having it as my daily driver but the reason why was two reasons one no thunderbolt 3 and it also had the 15 watt quad core cpus which are perfectly fine now you can get graphics on both the 15 and 13 inch surface book but say comparing it to an xps 15 you know your razor aero macbook pro etc they had like six core cpus and they had 45 watt six core cpus so that's what tipped me over the edge the fact that the 15 inch had the quad core instead of the hex core, the 45 watt hex core, and the Thunderbolt 3. But hopefully they have the Ice Lake CPUs in the Surface Laptop and the Surface Pro, but I want the Comic Lake CPUs in the Surface Book because we're gonna get six cores then. So now we're talking, right? A Surface Book, they're supposed to be maybe improving the hinge too, but a Surface Book now with six cores, and they can pump up to 25 watts, these CPUs. So we're gonna have high clocks, six cores. We're gonna have graphics as well. 
So maybe we're going to have a 1660 and a 1650. 1650 will probably go on the 13 inch and the 1660 Ti will go on the 15 inch. With six core option, now I have a decision because I like that thing because it has the tall display. It's very versatile. You can take the screen off. There's so many good things about it and it needs Thunderbolt 3. I'm super excited for these products. Let me know in the comments what you want. Are you excited? Can't wait. Catch you next one. Tally ho.